Hi guys. Um, all right, so um, I'm gonna do a video um, that it's gonna go out to uh, the able body people. And today I wanna focus on uh, people with disabilities. I find a lot of time times we're being overlooked. Uh, able-bodied people often assume that just because if you have disability, we can't live a normal life. You know, just because someone's in a wheelchair doesn't mean they can have a normal life and happy life. Just because someone is deaf or just because someone is, is visually impaired or hearing impaired and or, or whatever kind of disability, you know, um, doesn't mean we can be normal like everyone else. It doesn't mean that we can have a normal life. It doesn't mean we can have, um, have a, it doesn't mean we can't have a social life. And it doesn't that doesn't it does not necessarily mean that um you know, uh we can't uh have a job or we can't go into higher education. So yeah. You know, like I often you know, I often get asked um, by, by able-bodied people um, because of my visual impairment. I get asked stuff like, oh, who cooks for you? Who takes care of you? Or, and stuff like that. And, you know, you know, just because I have a visual impairment, it doesn't mean that I, it doesn't mean that I, um, that I can't cook for myself or whatever. And I also want, I also want to talk about um, people with disabilities and how they're invisible in the workplace. I find that employment employers in general overlook the disability. Like for example, you see someone who is uh, visually impaired and you're like, oh, oh, oh my God, this, this person's visually impaired. Um, how are they gonna be hireable? It's gonna be expensive to accommodate them. Or they see someone in a wheelchair and they are like, oh, oh, that, that person in a wheelchair, how are, we supposed, how are they supposed to, um, how, how are they supposed to be productive at, in the workplace? Uh, one thing I suggest is to look beyond the disability. See the person for who he or she is, not for their disability. So if you're not sure how to accommodate people with disabilities, you can always uh, talk to, you can always talk to uh, uh, disability organizations like the CNIB and American Printing House for the Blind and, and, and other, and, and other um, organizations that help people with disabilities. You can also talk to, um, you can also talk to uh, people who specialize in uh, a disability employment. And also, um, you can you can make accommodations like simple accommodations. For example, you can have a lower desk for people with wheelchairs. If a, if someone cannot hear hear you um, at all, then what you can do is you can write the instructions down uh, for for that person to follow. So if the person can, if that, if that person is hearing impaired and, and has very good vision, then, then they can then they can um, benefit from written instruction or text. Um, yeah, if you're accommodating someone who's visually impaired or um, who have low vision or or a braille user, what you can do is you can make um, your website accessible for screen readers like Jaws, Window Eyes, VoiceOver, etc. And you can also make the website accessible for people who use magnification software such as Magic or Zoom. You can also have a, la a larger monitor. And so that way the, the person can still see what's on the screen uh, and magnify the font to whichever size he or she needs. And so this is my video for today uh, on seeing beyond the disability. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos every Sunday. Thank you.